What is going on guys? We are back again for a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a longer one. It just is. Sit back, relax, enjoy it. There's going to be a Q&A section. You're going to be seeing a little bit of my training. There's going to be a lot of things that y'all have been asking to see. But to do that, we are going to have to go back in time because today is Friday my day off we're gonna have to rewind to my last day off which was Tuesday where I was also filming and that is where we are gonna pick up this video and then we're gonna make it back into present day you know what I'm saying do some inception bullshit because I was also filming on Saturday which I addressed back in Tuesday roll it what is going on people we are back again for a brand new video and in today's video it is pancake Tuesday are you hearing me we're gonna be doing a full body session in regards to training but first I need to get dressed. Nice. Now that I'm in sufficient clothing, I've got another thing for you guys. Book Powder sent me the last, well not the last package, but the, the last package I'll get before my competition. Does that, that, make, that make sense, right? Blam! Would you look at that? Harry Potter eat your motherfucker heart out, nigga. So, what I got um, out of all of this stuff, I'm actually gonna put it on the floor because it's just blocking the camera. Anything that I got for this is gonna be all to do with my competition. So I got some more dextrose. As you guys know, I am gonna be weight cutting. I am currently, when I last weighed myself, I was 78.1 yesterday morning. And um, I didn't weigh myself this morning. So I'm roughly above the 78 kg mark. In the evening time, I'm closer, I guess, to 78.5 to 78.9. Um, so as you guys know, I need to cut down to 75. So when I'm dehydrating myself, I'm water cutting, I'm gonna need things to get me back to normal very, very quickly. So these are what I got. So I got myself the dextrose, cause I'm not gonna be eating carbs as well for like a day or two leading up to that also, but I'm gonna go through all that shit with you. And um, I got complete raspberry gel. So these are like proper energy gels. You know, the, you all know what these are like. Those fucking super sour, really gross. Um, Sorry about powders, but just all of those gels are gross. There's there's, there's no hiding it. Um, it's not focusing, so fuck you. Then we got electrolyte powder. So this is the main thing. I don't know why I'm even showing you this. The camera ain't focusing. It's not fucking with me right now. But electrolyte powder. This is really what I need to um, really get my hydration levels back up. So I'm going to be having this with the dextrose. And my rehydration, my replenishment phase process after the weigh-in is going to be on point. Got myself some more chalk, because for some reason last time I actually needed to use my own chalk, because um, theirs was running out. I got these, I got elbow sleeves. I'm going to use them in the gym today for bench press um, on my single, just because I want to take the piss. Glenn, all of y'all that wear these, I'm calling all you out. I think these add extra kg to your bench press, I just do. Even though they're the sleeves, they're not the wraps. I think these little itty bitty sleeves make your bench press a lot bigger than it actually is. And I'm going to test that theory out today. Then I just got more clothes, so I got these chocks bottoms I'm wearing right now. They're really comfy. Oh, my fucking camera just ain't cooperating with me today. And I got some more kind of the gray chocks bottoms. Another shaker. And the stainless steel one, because why the fuck not? And if you want to get yourself some of all this goodness, all you gotta go on to is the link in my description. Hit that link and that's what's gonna support me. Even if you don't support me, Book Patters is the one to go. So if you're gonna use Glenn, Sean, any of them, like, I'm just being real right now. Fuck my protein and fuck all of them others. This is the one, B. So yeah, if you wanna support all of us, um, then just either use any of our links and yeah, description, all that jazz. Use mine though. Mine's the best, use mine. Recently, I recorded on Saturday because I went to the gym Monster Revan. Possibly, I say possibly, it is. It is the single best well-equipped gym in Ireland. By far, Fox is the best gym that I've trained in, um, in regards to equipment, anyway. Went down there two weeks ago, went back again last week with my boy Ross, and what we did was, on the first time I went, it was just some, was just deadlifts, and you saw me hit that 250 kg PB. Then, I went back again, and for squats, the plan was that I just wanted to hit 180 kg by three, 
and then hit a deadlift of 130 kg by five. That was the plan. Um, or else maybe do like 240 for three singles. I hadn't really decided yet, but your boy made some gains. Your boy hit some personal bests. Roll it. So once again, it is windy. But we are here at the gym. Ross, would you tell them? So we're here, we're gonna be training, doing squats and deadlifts. The main things, now I'm gonna do a little bit of push with Ross as well. So I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna get that pump I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna get that pump catches you up to speed I guess it was snowing two days ago that was some bullshit so yeah all is good today is pancake Tuesday guess what I got for that motherfucker Bang. so I'm here at choppers Barber. this is where I always get my hair cut with my boy Luke upstairs every single time but Last weekend, I was meant to do like a little shoot for Luxo. You already know who Luxo is. My boy Sounds Brand um, and all the other all the other G's that are over there. Luxo, they um basically they, they want to get a shoot done on like a Monday. So I was like, shit, I need to get a haircut. So I tried going to Nace to get a haircut on Sunday because obviously Luke was booked out here. Um and this is what happened. Shirts and shit. I think there's more than just t-shirts, but anyways, um I gotta be looking fresh for that, so I need to get a haircut. Today is the only chance. I am not going if the queue is long. One thing you gotta know about Mocha fucking Mullen, I don't do queues. Your boy left his wallet at home. There's a cue. I don't do cues. So yeah, we are here today to get a haircut and to look fresh because I need trim. I'm gonna keep the long, top, long. The, I'm gonna keep the top long, English. But um, yeah, get all the other shit sorted. All right, so your boys made it to the gym with fresh trim. Yes. Yes. So we're outside the gym, we're going to be training today. Um, I actually put up a little Q&A thread um, that I'm actually going to answer after the gym because I want to save my camera battery um, for the actual gym workout because I think that's more important whereas I can answer the questions if the battery dies back at home. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, but right now I'm going to go in there, get a monster, come back, drink that bitch with a scoop of pre-workout and then we're going to go in and do the workout. Today's plan is going to be we're going to do some squats. We're gonna then do some bench, then do some deadlifts, and then we're gonna do some rowing and some arm movements as well. So that's gonna be today's workout. Um, squat wise, the plan is, what I want to do, is we're, we're basically just gonna have to wait and see. If it's feeling really, really good, your boy might go for a PB. Your boy might go for a PB, we will wait and see. <laughs>
so we are out of the gym. <sighs> Unfortunately, didn't get to hit the 220 squat that I really wanted to hit in the sleeves, but they were feeling good. I hesitated. I basically tried to do like a weird little pause rep and didn't like explode out of the hole. I was just, it was a weird rep. I was scared of the weight. Um, you can't respect the weight. I probably have 220 in me. I just pussy it out of it, unfortunately. Bench wise, couldn't really tell if the elbow sleeves were a cheat code for the bench. Like they didn't really, didn't feel like they did anything, but um, two reps of 130, which is clean. Maybe I wouldn't have got them without it, but maybe I will. I'll test it again without them. I just wanted to try them out today. Um, so again, if you need any equipment, but Patters, they got you, man. They got you. So now we've got to go home, shower, eat, get ready. Then we're going to come back up to do the shoot. Um, but I'll answer some of your guys' questions later on this evening because I need to charge my camera because it's about to die on me. Thank you. Right, peeps, so we home. We got a butt ton of spaghetti. And then we got some uh, meat in there as well. So it's going to be meat, spaghetti, and cheese. I think about you all the time. Time. Everybody is waiting. I think about you all the time. Everybody is waiting. Why are you smell like poser? Soft boy. You ain't know you was my baby. That's my baby. Alrighty, people, so we are outside the gym, and it is time for the Q&A part of this video. So you guys asked me some questions, I saved a lot of those questions and I got even a few more questions this morning. So I still have the questions that you guys sent me from, just from a few days ago, so let me bring those babies up. Alright, question one was, do you think some fitness brands are overpriced for the actual product you receive? Absolutely, some are, um, some aren't, some are very cheap, so it's different ones, like bulk powders is very cheap, even got handed to them, my protein is quite cheap, but there are like fitness brands, like... I don't know, you could buy something from Optimum Nutrition, it could be like a third, a quarter of the price more expensive, like some things are very expensive, but that is just like with everything that you like buy in your daily life, it's not just fitness brands, every single item that you buy costs those big companies fuck all to make, and they're selling it at a mass amount, so they're making millions of euro a year, the only way they can be doing that is if it doesn't cost them a lot of money, they're always trying to bring down their costs, their expenses, um, so that's kind of like with everything and not just fitness brands, but um, absolutely, some things are, some things aren't. Do you hang out with Glenn because it makes you feel really tall? Bitch, put some respect on my man's name. Don't be calling him no short fry. Only I could call him that. <laughs> what kind of stupid ass question is that some bullshit? Of course I feel tall around him. <laughs> Most attractive thing I could do to get a guy to like me. So I'm, this is meant to be a fitness Q&A, so I'm gonna put this in perspective of fitness. The most attractive thing you can do in, re in regards to building your physique, I guess, is actually just well-balanced training. Girls don't seem to realize this, but an overall fitness look looks so much better than the slender, skinny, fat sort of look of where you just look skinny. Get active get a little bit more athletic looking than you currently possibly are. You don't have to be athletic looking, but more athletic looking 
than you are. Um, and I'm telling you, well, in my just in my opinion anyway, that is so much nicer. One intense cardio session a week or three to four normal cardio sessions a week. Well, my guy, it's gonna be way more beneficial if you're doing more multiple sessions a week because you're gonna be burning more calories in total. One really intense cardio session, you're still not gonna be able to burn as many, as much calories as you do when you're going for like three, four days a week. Low intensity, steady state, um, multiple times throughout the week. Balancing rugby and powerlifting. Now that is gonna be a little bit of different, a difficult one because it's gonna be basically kind of like a one or the other. Which do you wanna prioritize more? Do you wanna prioritize your performance on the field? Do you wanna prioritize your training? And um, because if you wanna prioritize your training, really like really really well then your rugby performance might diminish a little bit because you're going to be a little bit more sore and a little bit more fatigued than you usually would be than if you were just focusing on the training and have focusing on rugby and having your training is more of an afterthought so balancing the two i would say is really only going to the gym three times a week maximum and doing everything more so at like 70 80 percent than going into the gym five or six times a week and going really, really hard. This way, you're doing your full upper body sessions, see, you're probably going to the gym with your rugby. So what I would suggest is trying to work up to a heavy single, roughly around 90%. Not every single time, but maybe every sing every second session and have your back offsets quite a bit lower. That way you can still kind of focus on getting stronger while not being too fatigued all the way throughout that session to where it affects your rugby training as well. Can you gain significant strength without going through a booking phase? Now, it depends on significant. What's significant to you might be different to what significant to somebody else is. Can you get stronger? without going into a bulking phase, absolutely. Will you get crazy, 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 much, like way stronger? Probably not, like you'll need the calorie surplus to really surpass, to build more muscle, and we're gonna be getting onto this about muscle mass and strength in a second, um, but you realistically will need to go into even just a small calorie surplus to really be seeing some significant um, increases to your strength. Balancing strength, performance, and getting enough hypertrophy and volume. Okay, this is something that needs to stop. You cannot have strength training without hypertrophy training. You can't have hypertrophy training without strength training. If you are building more muscle, most of the time, you will be getting stronger. You might not be getting powerlifter level one rep max sort of style stronger, but you're going to be getting stronger. If you've built more muscle and you've put five more kg of muscle on your on your frame, I guarantee you your um, 80 kg of 10 is gonna be moving up to at least maybe 85, 90 kg for 10 on the bench press. That's just an example. You're going to be getting stronger. If you are not progressing, you probably aren't building much more muscle, you know what I'm saying? So maybe your one rep max capability isn't as good, you're not good with singles, you've not gotten efficient with the movement, but in rep, in repetition wise, your strength has to go up if you're building more muscle, and if you want to build more strength, most of the time you are gonna be building more muscle on top of that because the amount of stress and fatigue that you're putting on your body is enough metabolic fatigue for hypertrophy, you know what I'm saying? They go hand in hand. For naturals especially, if you are natural, you need to get crazy strong in order to build the muscle that you want to build to look like your, I don't know, fitness personalities that you like. Otherwise, it's not gonna happen. It's just not happening. The only way that you build a load of muscle but aren't building the strength is when you put in different um, endogenous hormones into your body that take away the factor of the training, the factor of the training, that just cause your cells to get bigger, muscles to get bigger, in regardless of your strength capabilities. That is the only way that that happens. So if you have some big ass dude that isn't really that strong, does more muscle mass equal more strength? Now, taking this question at the most literal form possible, does more muscle mass equal more strength? I guess you could say no, but, this is where it's gonna change. This is where I'm gonna flip it, and this is where I'm gonna say that it does equal more. So I put up a poll, and most people actually said it doesn't equal that. And um, maybe you took the question literally, but the people that answered yes, I know that you understood what I was trying to say. The answer actually is yes. A lot of people do think that strength is just something else. The strength is just something that you have that you can build on, and it doesn't really matter about the muscle mass you have. Guys, the, what is producing the force 
that is allowing you to lift these weights. It's your muscles. If you have larger muscles, more square surface area of muscle is going to equal to more force potential. Now that's the important word, force potential. So a bigger muscle absolutely has the potential to be a stronger muscle. It's just you have to train it to produce that amount of force, you know what I'm saying? Get good at the movement, you have to do repetition after repetition after repetition, get really efficient at it, find a technique that works with your biomechanics, but guys, you have to be bigger to move more weight. More muscle equals more strength. If I had 10 kg more muscle mass on my body, I would be a hell of a lot stronger than I am now. And that's just, and to say that, that doesn't make any difference. Of course it does. So it's the people that are big and bulky that just have a load of fat on their body right now. If they were to cut down to all of their body fat to the same level of body fat as me, guarantee you they're gonna be weighing closely around the same as me. There's strong evidence that you can just show that by taking someone's height, doing a DEXA scan, taking all of the muscle mass on their body, you can do a calculation to get pretty close to what their one rep maxes should be on certain lifts. There is a correlation. That is why the super, super strong naturals that aren't actually crazy huge they have to be that strong to have that amount of muscle mass on their body. And um, I do feel I fall into this category, but guys, like I am not crazy strong. A lot of you people will think that I am strong because whatever I can do, what was it, 240 kg for three reps, close to maybe a 260 um, deadlift for the, the weight class that I'm in, the 75 kg class. Guys, the world record total, I'm gonna be aiming to hit 600 kg total. That's the squat, bench, and deadlift all added together. The world record at 70 fucking four kilograms is like 760 kg total. Like I'm 160 kg away from the world record holder. Whether that's drug competed, I'm not 100% sure, but it's close up to that range. It's at least near 700. The best natural is probably up at 690, 680, closer to 700. Like I'm not even near the strongest in the world. So my strength standards should be what you should be aiming for if you're a natural. That is what you should be aiming for. Um, absolutely, I may have good genetics. I have no idea if I have good genetics. How am I supposed to know? Does some doctor tell me? Sure, maybe I'm half black, so I have those half black genetics. I might have more fast twitch muscle fiber distribution than maybe the average person, potentially. I don't know. I might not. I very well might not. So you can't just assume either way. So for you guys, you can't just assume that your genetics are bad. You can't just assume that you won't be as strong as this person or this person's only strong because of this, that, and the other. Literally, you should have, you should be wanting to squat, be able to squat roughly about 500 pounds. You wanna be able to squat 600 to nearly 700 pounds and bench over 300 pounds. If you want naturally, if you want to be looking like a very impressive um, natural lifter. But you 100% you will have to. If you are natural and you aren't pushing those sort of boundaries, then your physique most likely isn't going to be crazily impressive. Um, again, it's gonna then differ on height dependency. Like for someone that's five foot seven and they're only deadlifting the bar 14 inches from the floor, Someone that's six foot three that has to deadlift the bar 28 inches off the floor, 50% more work has to be done. So they're gonna need fucking nearly, well, it's not gonna be an exact 50% more, but they're gonna need more amount of muscle to be able to produce that amount of force for longer. The duration of the lift is also longer. So that has to be taken into account as well. Um, so you just, look, bottom line is, more muscle does equal more strength. Right, so outfit change because I actually went to the gym 
So now we're back to answer some more questions. Best supplements to take. There are no best supplements to take, but just um, creatine is one I'd recommend. Whey protein is good if you struggle to get protein into your diet. Citrulline malate if you just want to get a serious pump each session. And uh, beta, beta alanine if you're training with very, very high reps, you're doing um, long endurance type training, it can help with that as well. What drives you to train and diet over 16 week cut? And um, what drives me just, I get addicted to it. When I'm cutting, it's more difficult because I'm obviously not eating as much, have to do the cardio, have to be on point. My training, everything has to be on point. Because that's difficult, I actually enjoy it. It's like, shit, this is tough. And I'm like, nah, I can do this shit. I got this shit. So that's what drives me. Then I just think about my whys. Why am I doing this? My why has to be better than my reason for quitting. Um, and I kind of think back to all the things of, I know it might be sound silly and trivial, but like my mama, Mama Mullen has sacrificed so much for me. If this is all kind of included, like this fitness stuff is my business. So I need to make this work and I can't make it work if I can't even do a 16 week cut. So that kind of long underlying reason of trying to, I don't know, make things up to my mom brings back to me not allowing myself to fail at anything that I do in life. And um, so I, I apply that to everything, not just a 16 week cut. Are you gonna be going back to Raw City Gym before it closes in April? Probably not, like I'm never in town. I just am not I might do for the nostalgia reasons because that was my first gym, the Raw in town. How long have you been going to the gym for? Four years and like what, one month? Four years and one month, two months? Do you recommend taking creatine? If you want to, you don't have to. It's not the secret stuff, but um, studies have shown that it can be beneficial for some people and maybe for some people they don't really see the benefits for it at all. Would you ever stop counting macros and focus on trying to eat intuitively? Um, I kind of am doing that when I bulk, but when I'm cutting, absolutely not. No guesswork, everything has to be exactly as it is. Favorite physique of all time? Um, I can't think, I think his name is Alex, but I'm gonna put him up on the screen. This guy right now, I think he is the most aesthetic physique that there is. I think it's serious. What are your own personal reasons for not using steroids? Okay, my own reasons for not using steroids are one, it basically is a life sentence. When you start to inject your own fucking testosterone into your body, your body shuts it off. So then you have to take more shit to get it back going again. And once you stop taking it, you're never gonna be as good as when you were taking it. It's complete mental fuck. There's a load of different health implications for it. Some people have worse side effects than others, but, and people say that you can do it in a safer way. If you wanna compete at the highest level and really make a living out of your sporting endeavors, sure, you probably are gonna have to take performance enhancing drugs, but I'm not at that point. I probably never will be at that point. I don't want to be on my deathbed, have to, after my third heart attack when I'm 50 years old, telling my son, well, at least I got this trophy. It's like, nah, my son would rather have his fucking dad alive until he's fucking 80. And so for me, it's just a no-go. I think a lot of people don't even get close to their natural potential, um, even though there are a lot of fake natties out there, but it's just one of those things that people look for the easy way out, the quick option, which is understandable. If you're gonna be making a living of your physique, why the hell would you not? Um, but for me, it's just a no. I, I, it's just it's just a no for me. They're my personal reasons. Um, the negatives completely landslide outweigh the the short term benefits because it is all just short term benefits. And those are the questions that I answered for you guys. I hopefully haven't missed out on any. If I have, please comment them down below. If you have any questions at all, I'll answer them throughout the next couple of videos. Um, but I'm gonna leave this video here. Hopefully you guys, you did enjoy. It was a little bit informative for you guys. Um, coming up to the competition soon, literally like two and a half more weeks, three more weeks, um, if even, like literally two and a half more weeks. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try to get some more videos up. But yeah, Mocha fam, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you're at this point in the video. Just, just leave a like. Come on, you guys enjoyed. Mocha fam, stay saucy. Hold tight.